I guess that's domination. Uh, holy crap! That uh, you that is not safe for YouTube. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Ah! Hey, I'm toasted ideas, and in today's video, I decided I wanted to. to do something different than the recent content. I, I realized in the last video, uh, uh, I mentioned I was going to make another video after that video, uh, going over more black pill stuff, because it's something I'm kind of passionate about, but I decided that, you know what, maybe it's a good idea to deviate from, uh, uh, de deviate from specific content. It, it, the, the last four videos here have been more more or less on the darker side of the dating world. You could look at it. These two videos most definitely. And I decided, you know what, how about today we do something different and provide possibly some humor in the video, right? Everyone likes humor. So what I decided to ask I'm deciding to figure out, is face-sitting a dominant or submissive action? So we're going to look at it. Face-sitting, is it dominant or submissive? Now, before I hit that, I my first thoughts on it, because I was thinking about this while I was at my, my shift, and my first thoughts on it were that it's, submissive because you're by because um, okay let's i'm taking this from the position of i am the one with the face okay because that's what i su i'd suspect from that notion but i would i would suspect it's a submissive uh position because you're literally becoming a bottom through that position which i mean uh to each their own if you're if you're for that i'm not here to debate that or anything and in fact i'm not even here to say if it's right or wrong anywho point is i think it i thought at first that it's a submissive position because you're once again you're literally becoming a bottom and it's but then i but then i thought of it on a per perspective of could it be dominant in which case i came to the conclusion of, yes, it can be a dominant position. <sighs> now, see, okay, it can be a dominant position for the man, because, you know, like, uh, commanding her to do that. Uh, but could it be sub- it could, could it be submissive for the woman to- Oh, yeah, no, no, the inverse of the man being commanding or commanding her to do that on him would be, in fact, her being submissive to his dominant notion, right? Does this make sense? I think it does. Hold on, so now we're going to look this up and hopefully not get banned. Uh, okay, uh, something by uh, Quora, apparently. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. First of all, there's a people also ask, we're going to look at this, is face-sitting a form of dominance? That is such weird wording, if I have to be honest. But you know what? We're going to look at it. Uh, <clears throat> another common misconception about face-sitting is that it is solely a dominant act. While it can be a form of domination, it can also be a mutually pleasurable experience for both partners oh, okay hold on so uh, the problem with this these people adding up the point of it can also be mutually experienced or mutually pleasurable experience who's to say that the one being dominated the dude per uh, suspectedly uh doesn't find pleasure in that setting up a notion that is technically incorrect but Anywho, that didn't help at all answer this because it's just... Uh, we're going to look at this Quora thing here, okay? And once again, try and not get banned. I'm scared, if I'm going to be honest. Alright, uh, is face-sitting considered a dominant-slash-submissive thing? 
It depends on who is doing the considering. Uh, humans are individuals, not consensus organisms. Uh, for some people, face sitting would be very dominant submissive. For others, it's just a convenient angle. For still uh, others, it's just a Tuesday or some other day ending in Y. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Um, wait, what was... Oh, okay. This literally did not answer at all. Is this a submissive or dominant position? The problem is you can take it from both ways. Hold on. Um, I don't want to look at Wikipedia, because that is most definitely going to have... Oh, man, that is most definitely not where we want to look at. Uh... However, the problem is, the problem, is, I'm not going to click on this because I don't think I can, but the problem is, is that what I'm realizing here, hold on, can y'all see this? I hope you can. Uh, well, apparently, my device is broken. It's not allowing me to scroll in. Anywho, uh, I don't know, I hope you guys can see it. Can you, hold on. Ah, oh, you can't. Damn. Anywho, uh, th I, I don't. Although this is the probably correct, uh, hold on. It appears my page was broken. Okay, so, uh, I'm not gonna click on this link because although this is the correct question, um, I don't think I can even look at this text down here. Ah. Man, I'm very worried. Actually, I think I'm going to click on this link. However, y'all are most likely not going to see it for the most part. Uh, can you, uh, the point is, like, but this would be a good, I think this would be a good question, or a good question for what I'm trying to figure out here. So, hold on. I'm going to try and look at this. Oh, okay, so I, I clicked on it. Uh, first things first, I'm noticing this is a very precarious uh, upvote and downvote system. Anywho, the question is, as stated, uh, can you still be submissive w but enjoy sitting on a guy's face? And they go in, they say, I asked this in another column, but this might be a more appropriate forum. Probably. I feel like I'm mostly submissive in S, but I enjoy sitting on a guy's face more than the other way around. Is the only thing... What? Well, that's weird grammar. Hold on. Uh, is the only thing, even though I will exchange head to obviously. Uh, I will, like, go hard to and, like, ride that thing. <laughs> Does this <laughs> make me somewhat dominant? I just feel it's a position that is a bit more dominant due to the aggressiveness of it, but you tell me. Still, though, as a female, you're not really harming the guy with your, uh, this word, don't know if I can say it. The other way a guy could with the deep, oh, throwing, deep throwing stuff, so I don't know. Okay, so, uh, I don't, I mean... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the point of her saying, uh, this part was, but I mean, at the same point, alright, <laughs> not really, uh, contextually needed, but hey, whatever, I guess, so I'm gonna try and, uh, look through the comments and do this in a safe way for YouTube, you know? You know what, I lied, I'm actually just gonna look through this with you guys and hope this video does not get absolutely just blasted from YouTube, okay? I'm gonna... You're, you're joining me on this adventure, okay? You're with me on this, okay? Good. Got that? Good. Okay, so, uh, this person here, um, great name, by the way, uh, says, I think it has more to do with how you approach it than the act itself. I know, uh, dominant men that like to be pegged. They approach it as an order. Yeah, so like I said, like if you were to order your partner to sit on their face, then technically it would still be dumb. But okay, if you were to order your if you were to order your partner to sit on your face, could that be qualified as domination then? Is that is that is that is that domination? <laughs> 
this is so dumb. <laughs> okay, uh, do, uh, and then she could have put quotations here, and you, uh, do this to pleasure me, and then they go on, I assume it would be similar for you. Uh, your dominant can order you to sit in a position and endure whatever he sees fit. You're still sitting on his face, but he's in control. I guess that's domination. Uh, holy crap. That, uh, you, that is not safe for YouTube. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Ah! Okay, I'm actually just gonna scroll out, like, really high, so not, I can't even see it anymore. Holy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just scrolling out. I, I hope you guys can't see this, because then hopefully YouTube will be kind to me. Oh, it, it absolutely won't. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Okay. I have to figure this out. Hold on. Okay, okay. So I, I went... I went below this comment here, which maybe you caught a sneak peek at what that comment was. I, oh my god. Uh, I, I am direct, I cannot scroll up. And I'm also scared to scroll down as well. Uh, okay, so anyway, this person says, uh, does it matter? Uh, if you like it, you like it. See if your dominant will order you to do it, if that helps. And then it individual act is only as dominant or submissive as it makes you feel. Yeah, but there's an objective stance to things. You can't just can't just say this because it's an objective stance. Anywho, uh, this person then says, of course you can. Uh, you're doing what you're told, right? If your dom tells you to sit, you sit, and you like it because they said to. Being sub does not mean only bottoming. No, I, I, I agree with this statement, but... I don't know how you can be dominant by being below. Or, sorry, maybe not being dominant by just being below, because, I mean, you can be dominant while being below, but that is, like, below of below. Like, you are completely at their reign on, on a logistical stance. So, I don't know how you can be... Uh, how you can do domination while being on the bottom of that. That... I question that. Uh, I question it a lot. Hold on. Oh, okay, sorry. I, I, I said hold on because I wanted to scroll down and see more. But uh, this person then responded, uh, the OP responded to them and said, Yeah, but I don't ask and he doesn't tell me. I just do it. So I guess that's not submissive. But I would never do it if I don't didn't think it... But I would never do it if I didn't think his energy was down for it. I mean, technically, then it is... Yeah, it, it's not submissive, because you're the one who's initiating it, right? But, I mean, technically... Technically, you could also just say that he's being dominant. He's the dominant force in here, because you said that you would never do it if, if his energy wasn't down for it. So, could you therefore then swing it as him being the dominant one in this? Technically, you're the one going for it, but at the same time, if he is not down for it, then you don't do it. So, are, are, you, are you being submissive, or are you not? <laughs> uh, okay, and then he says, if he enjoys it and doesn't stop you. Uh, so I'm a switch. I'm a, I don't know what that means. Uh, anywho, I'm mainly a sub, but there are a couple people I am a dom for. They, oh, is switch like you're able to do both? I don't know. Anywho, uh, they know what I want and like and often anticipate correctly what I'm in the mood for. I don't have to ask. That, to me, is a huge submissive sign. I don't even have to say anything, I'm just served what I want automatically. It's like not having to order at the restaurant because the staff know your favorite by heart. Wait, what? Hold on, come here, say, so, uh, they know what I want and like, and often anticipate correctly what I'm in the mood for. I don't have to ask. That, to me, is a huge submissive sign. So what you're telling me is that when I go to a restaurant and they know what I like, I'm a submissive person. I mean, I can't 
disagree, but at the same time, I don't know if I can agree either. Uh, so if you're doing it without prior prod, prod, pr what is that word? I have no idea. And he is into it, then it's good. And I'd encourage you to keep doing it. After all, if you wanted something else, he'd just tell you and you'd do that instead, right? Do they comment? Yes, they do. Okay, it's partly why I don't like the labels. But again, I guess I'm a sub, but I switch for certain things. Uh, I don't know if I can see that. Um, so far it looks safe. Okay. Uh, make the labels work for you, not the other way around. A sub who switches for certain things is valid. A switch who leans heavily sub is valid. 95% submissive is valid. I'm a sub, but I like facing it sitting as... Man, that is a lot of valids. Hold on. Holy crap, you talk too much. Uh, Lamau at the end. Okay, wait, hold on. In the end, all of this is down to whatever the participants want to do, however they want to do it. No one's gonna come along and go, Oh, you did forceful face-sitting on July the 9th. We're gonna need to take your sub card away. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. Alright, uh, all right, hold on, okay. Okay, I don't know what your particular kink relationship is like, so as long as you're both happy about it, rock on. Okay, so what I've learned from this, uh, tyrannical video idea here is that apparently it can be whatever the hell you want it to call. But then I have to ask, is any position technically then submissive or dominant? <sighs> technically no. Technically no. Technically they can be either because if you... Because if... As stated, if you tell your partner to do something for you, then technically you're being the dominant one. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, <sighs> all right, so then what's the point of labeling them dominant and submissive? That, that is then the next question, which I'm not going to answer because I'm already too scared of this video. Uh, anywho, uh, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments on whatever the hell this was. Uh, oh man, what a weird video. Anywho, uh, yeah, hit that like button. It, uh, it, I'm running out of my script here. Hold on. Go down in the comments. Say your thoughts. Do you, what are your thoughts on this? I want to know what your thoughts are on this. Do you think that face sitting is a submissive or dominant act? Or do you think it's either at that rate? Because what we've learned in this video is that it is either. Because uh, it just matters if you're being told to do it or not. Or just doing it. But at the same time, does someone is someone's energy in turn being them telling you to do something or not because as stated by her if he wasn't down for it she wouldn't have done it so technically his energy is dominating her what is this conversation i'm having with myself <laughs> uh okay uh hit that subscribe button uh join the fellow uh, become a fellow bread bag and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this weird a video uh, can see this video and perhaps they will uh, join the bread box But I hope to see you in the next video and until then have a good one